Kiria, you just uh, finished a, a 23 concert tour of uh, Africa, which climaxed in a part of Africa in Paris, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is called the New Morning uh, in the 10th. What lessons do you draw reflecting uh, on, uh, on this uh, grueling, uh, grueling experience? Well, in, now that you call it an experience, I, I would say experience is the best teacher. You see, playing, when you're practicing to go to play a concert, you know what you want the people to hear. But because of the different kind of crowds, you realize that people react differently to different songs and different body language and different speeches. So being on tour has really trained us on how to deal with different crowds. And uh, that's something that I think uh, all artists need to experience. Um, I've been lucky to see so many different crowds in West Africa and I feel like I've been in a classroom, a very big one in the West. <laughs> Maurice Keria, you've won this Discoveries Award, Découverte, yeah. which yeah. Uh, is from a radio station which is much better known in uh, French-speaking Africa yeah. than English-speaking uh, yeah. Africa. Uh, for you, uh, what, um, what does this prize, this uh, award, uh, represent? <sighs> this, thi this award doesn't only inspire me and my band, but the people in my country who were just like me, people who are in the garages practicing to cross borders, this award has helped me cross the border to a wider horizon into the francophone world, which we, we, we realize that they want to know everything about Uganda, but there is no exact bridge. So I, I saw this as a big opportunity for me to borrow the culture from Uganda and spread it all over the world and all over Africa. So it means uh, inter-border connections to me. You, you're responsible for this new style called yeah. the Moyo, yeah. which is a mixture of Afro soul, R&B, hip hop, uh, and local Ugandan rhythms. Yeah. Tell me first of all about those rhythms w in detail. When, when, when I was, I come from a very musical family. My brother is a rapper, and another brother is a dancehall reggae artist. My and mother, that's the fault of your mother. <laughs> yeah, and my mother loves blues and. Um, she listened to Abbas and Frank Sinatra. And my dad was strictly African, Africando uh, from uh, Congo. So it, being the youngest, I was always in the shadow. So I learned so much from everyone. But when I sang, I wanted to know what is it really that is my uniqueness. I didn't want to just think of myself as a genre. And over 10 years, I realized that the more I kept experimenting, I was coming up with something, but of course I credit a lot my band because they play uh, all the ideas that we come together with. And we realized we had created sort of a soul music, which the word Moyo explained it better, Ugandan soul music, which making it soul definitely has a Western influence of jazz, R&B, hip hop. What does it mean, Moyo? Moyo means soul. And what is the African part of Moyo? Moyo, if in Ugandan part, sorry. yeah, the Ugandan part, Moyo. If you say Moyo, everyone will connect it to soul and spirit. But what's so beautiful about it that if you go to Kenya and say Moyo, they think of heart. If you go to Rwanda and say Moyo, they think of heart. And I was very surprised to go to Dakar to find out that things like Malaika, what I sing about, they call angel Malaka. So some of these words are very connected in some of the countries people associate with it. Again, what's the African part, uh, rhythmically, uh, yeah. of Moyo? It's more on the, the vocal tonations, uh, and the vocal tonations which, when you hear the singing style, as much as so many has been borrowed from different genres, you do hear the traditional way of accenting vocal tonations. Maurice, let me put you on the spot. Can ah. you <laughs> illustrate well, you that? Leka leka nzinengenda I'll make it even better, I think. How about this? Leka leka nze nengenda Njaba imbira nga siwera Engule mitima baje tuwali na mbuvera Bafu ujini na mbukalo babere wana muenkera Leka nze nengenda Njaba imbira nga siwera Engule mitima baje tuwali na mbuvera Bafu ujini na mbukalo babere wana muenkera So it's something to do with the tongue twisting the vocal tonations, which definitely when you listen to it, you can tell there's a wide influence of R&B, jazz, 
but keeping the local way of uh, a ton thing we call the Gono. In, uh, there's a straight way of singing and you hear people in Uganda singing It's a shakiness in the voice that when we use it and borrow it with R&B and jazz we get that kind of feeling. <laughs>